What is up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more follow-ups to follow-ups. So if you've been with me for a while, thank you for sticking with me. If you are new to the channel, thank you for joining us. Now with that being said, you see these devices, mice, sitting out beside my iPad. Now, there's been a big issue with the whole mouse updates and the ability to be able to use your magic mouse properly with your iPad. So as of update 13.3.1, you can no longer use your magic mouse. Now, I've done several videos where I used the magic mouse, I connected the magic mouse, it worked properly, and then these updates started coming out. I even did a video where I called Apple and I talked to them and they ran through different tests and specs and all they told me was that I should change the name of the, the device. So a couple of days ago, I come in just to kind of play around with this, just to see if I can get this connect again. I go into accessibility and I come into touch. So my assistive touch is always on because I'm always using a mouse somewhere at some point of the day. And then I scroll down and I go to devices. So as you can see, my Surface Arc mouse and my USB mouse are right here connected. But if you look at the fine print right there on the screen, there's a glare, but it says assistive touch allows you to connect Bluetooth and USB assistive pointing pointer devices, such as joysticks and mice, magic mouse and magic, magic trackpad are not supported over Bluetooth. So that's a new message that I just saw and maybe it's been there and I just didn't pay attention to it. But the fact is I was able to use this in several previous videos and I will link those videos down below so you can check them out for yourself. I was able to set it up. I was able to use it and it was able to work. No secondary functions, no extra features, but it would work. With that being said, Apple. Now I'm not big on conspiracies. Um, let me just go ahead and put that out there. This is the first time you've heard something similar to this on my channel. But my guess is, and I'm saying it here first on my channel, my guess is Apple is planning on releasing either some type of trackpad device or some type of mouse device specifically for the iPad Pro in 2020. And that's why they're actually phasing this out, because if you already have this, you won't go out and buy the new product. Now, take these devices, for example, they still connect, as you can see, the pointer. And this one is also connected through USB. Um, I have a hub back here behind. This is why this is connected. But I have two just to show you that they're both working. OK, same time, both working. Now, my other gripe. Microsoft Surface Arc Mouse used to be able to scroll. The scrolling ability has now been canned. And Apple probably thought people would not notice that, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna link the video down below also so you can see me scrolling on screen with this. I, I did several videos on this mouse. You can scroll. I did other mice devices, um, even with this Logitech you can no longer scroll. I can't use it with my left hand, but come in here and I'm, and, and I've shown you guys the Logitech mouse can scroll. The, this art mouse can scroll no longer. Will they allow you to scroll? So Apple is definitely messing with this ecosystem, trying to force people to buy the next product that they're going to put out. So if you actually go onto a web page, you can still scroll on the web page but apple has actually made it to where like if you're in the settings you now that's because youtube is a separate app if you're in the settings where you used to be able to scroll up and down you can no longer do this it no longer works so they're slowly just removing these features so that we will be forced to go out and buy the the new product that they're going to be putting out now, like I said, this is just like a little conspiracy and I'm not big on conspiracies, but I wouldn't put it past any company to. And 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 they've been known to do things like this before. I wouldn't put it past any company to kind of downplay one thing so they can push another product on consumers. 
because they know people are going to go out and want to get the latest the greatest the actual keyboard that comes with a trackpad they're going to want to get that so what better way to make people buy it than to hinder the previous models so we already know that the trackpad doesn't work magic trackpad the magic mouse won't work these devices still connect through bluetooth they still work i've shown you that they will work but the the actual features that they have are being slowly dialed back now like i said this is just my thought i haven't read this anywhere um, but i do know that the new ipads will be coming out a little later on this year and I do know that Apple has a trackpad keyboard type device that they're going to be putting together for the new iPad in 2020. So that's just my little rant for the day. Normally I don't do this, but I wanted to get some information out there to you guys because I get a lot of comments on a daily basis about whether the um, mouse is working now or isn't it working or what's going on. Just want to let you know, if you go into your settings now and this is not on every ipad guys so uh, my daughters have ipads and i have not updated them on purpose they're still at like 13.0 uh, and i still cannot get them to connect now i could at first but now they won't connect but once you come into here in devices in your assisted touch it's basically going to tell you give you this message that your magic mouse magic trackpad is not compatible but Magic Mouse did work, did connect. I'm gonna drop all those videos below so you can check them out for yourself. Hope this is able to help someone out. Until next time, please be sure and give me that thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.